Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. How do you feel about vaping? Um, hmm. I don't know. It like smoking has been a, a a mainstay in American culture for a long time. In fact, in the world culture for a long time. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm glad. A long time. I'm glad that we've figured out that smoking is bad for us and that we have knowledge. And I would be happy to say is that smoking is down across the board. Uh, not as many children are adopting it, but it seems as though more people are adopting vaping. I would be curious to know if the numbers of smokers and vapors together is bigger than what smokers ever were. I don't know. I kind of feel like if you were susceptible to smoking that you are susceptible to vaping. It's kind of like... The people who just have like the oral fixation versus the people who actually have a nicotine addiction. But I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. But I, they say that vaping is safer. Do we honestly know the truth? No, because we find out every day just about that there's something that we thought was fine for us. Now it's not. Now you don't want as much protein to build muscle. You want less protein. Who knows, dude? They come out with a cure for cancer every five months. Dude, wait, what? They do. They do. I read an article about this could potentially be the cure for cancer at least once a month. Yeah. At least once a month. Yeah. And none of them ever turn out. And that's not to say is that we should stop looking, but come on. Yeah. yeah. But either way, vaping. What about vaping, Jonas? You vaping now? You turn you gonna be a vape boy and blow some clouds? <laughs> ABC Cloud Boy. You gonna, you gonna shoot me a shotgun? I'm gonna go to the straight up the the cloud <laughs> the the cloud championships, boy. Bro, could you imagine blowing me a shotgun of vape smoke? Like, like pineapple <laughs> vape juice? Just like zero percent nicotine vape smoke. You're blowing me a shotgun. Yeah, like that, that can't be good for you. But anyways, uh, no, that I'm not. Can't be good for I, you. I don't vape. I've never vaped. Uh, but. I did see something online, and I think you may have seen it too. I'm not sure. But it was a factory. Somebody did, a, like, an expose about, like, a vape factory where they're, like, creating vape somewhere over in Asia. Uh -huh. And there was literally people that are just, like, handfuls of vapes oh, I see. testing them with their mouth over and over and over again. Uh -huh. And they are... Uh, you're showing it on the YouTube channel. Literally five or six vapes at a time. And what they're doing is just grabbing them by the handful and sucking on each vape for like half a second. So like. That's wild, man. So. They have to. So this is like the testing. This is like, They're making sure the vapes pull. This is like cool Q&A quality it, assurance It here. said that the guy was pulled 10,000 vapes a day. And all they do all day is hit vapes to just make sure they're testing. And I'm like, that cannot be healthy for you you know jonas when you think about the human body big picture guy sorry some concepts all right um, so when you think about the human body you think about what is actually beneficial for the human body is there anything that we put in the human body that is like beneficial because we put foods obviously we eat foods that aren't necessarily good for us we always have to compensate for the amount of fats and sugars and carbohydrates right, that right, we take right. in. Okay. So, like, what what's really good for us to add to the human body? Water? Yeah, water. Oxygen? Oh, but, but not too much. Oxygen? And yeah. Not too much. Anything in moderation. So, when it comes down to it, most of the things that we put into our body are bad for us. We do not know the long-term ramifications of continued vape smoke use because we, it has only been around for maybe 15, 20 years, yeah, maybe, if even. Yeah, I was going to say 10 years, maybe. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, so we don't know what this poor guy's going to have as far as problems later down the line. Um, All I know is that even if you were doing, like, hitting a breathing treatment like that from the hospital, yeah, that, that much, it ain't going to help. It ain't going to be good for you. It definitely ain't going to. There's no way that that's positive for his body. <laughs> like, I can't imagine any scenario where they're like, you know what? That's positive. 
bro, bro is just hitting vape, man. And I'm not mad at it. You wonder if he smokes off cam. Like, look, the, like if you do that all day, do you go home and vape too? I'd imagine I would, man, because I like, I would like the smell, the smoke. I need that now. I need all it. I do. I'm just hitting vapes thir 24 hours a day. Hey. Look. You put a vape in your mouth when you sleep, just so when you suck in, it blows out vape smoke. Freaking vape apnea? I don't know how that works. Dude, I can't. It, it already boggles my mind how much people that vape use their vapes. That's because you're not a smoker, though, Jonas. I, Listen, I mean, you're I, not a smoker. Yeah. You're not. Don't try to claim, like, I used to smoke. I don't want to hear that. That's like, that's like when uh, people complain that they're Native American. Like, I'm 25% Native American. No, you're not. Shut up. Wow. You've never been on a reservation. Yeah, man. Like, I stop don't, it. I don't know. I'm not a smoker either, so I don't really understand but it, but understand, I'm not going like, to judge. Here's, well, here's the thing, I guess, too, is, like, there's people who, like, don't use nicotine, and then just, like, they're addicted to, like, hitting a, a vape pen. Uh I feel like the ones that are really addicted are addicted to the nicotine because I don't know. In the vape community, I was a 0% nicotine user when I was a vapor. Uh -huh. I want to let you know is that, yes, I purchased a, a, a $120 mod and I used to buy. Yeah, I, I was a unicorn milk boy. My vapors know. Uh, I was the unicorn. I was a unicorn milk boy. Oh, yeah. A little um, Fruity Loops ice cream sandwich. I, <laughs> That's a brand, actually, the unicorn milk. Anyway, but when I was a vapor, um, I was 0%, uh, what do you call that, nicotine, and I was chastised by other vapors because vapors find other vapors to vape with, and then you're like, oh, what do you got in your mod? What kind of juice you running, bro? And, you know, that's kind of like. <laughs> they and they're all like unicorn milk, 12 point. <laughs> Seven milligram. Hey, unicorn milk is delicious. I'm here to tell you right now. But regardless, it's it's that. So those the ones we saw in the video are like mods. There's also the jewels, which are the ones you can get over the counter. Um, just like a bodegas or something. They have yeah. Since, they're just a pre a disposable pen. So they have since even uh, cut down on the availabilities of those in certain communities. I don't know if they're outlawed or anything of that nature. I know they outlawed uh, menthol cigarettes. We talked about that um, on a previous podcast. But I know they made it so that they're less accessible because teenagers were using a lot of the, those. We don't know the long term effects. No, man. So we, we got we got to slow the f down. We don't know the long term effects of AI. We got to slow the f down. Uh, smart stoves. Uh, no, that's that's fine. We smart stoves are. I'm not gonna let you get that off, Dad. All right, we're not <laughs> whatever, gonna, bro. You can complain right. about vape juice, but I can't complain about smart stoves. Vape juice is uh, applying a, a outside antigen to the body, whereas a smart stove is you don't know how to set the time, so you're mad. And you kick the Wait dog. Wait a second. I know how to set the time. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm out here. It's you, 704. Jonas, you, I don't know how you could be born a millennial, live amongst a Gen Z, but identify as a boomer. I identify as a Jonas. Boomer. Thank you. Boomer. Whatever, whatever. You're the one. You're booming a lot, too. Jonas man. hates black people. What? Wow. <laughs> You're metro booming, dude. <laughs> metro boom. You see that? Tell me that's not a boomer joke. <laughs> Tell me he just didn't hear that from like his freaking teenage daughter and just decided to spit that on the podcast. <laughs> you tell me that it wasn't a freaking boomer ass joke. Millennials don't make that Ric joke. Flair drip. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Like Metro Boomin's uh <laughs> Metro Boomin's Spotify playlist count just went down. <laughs> 25 percent when you said that <laughs> you're welcome metro booming it's so funny i was uh i was on i was on the reddit because that's where i am by the way i read it i hate you for not being impartial to the uh the recent elections yep but there was uh there was something about uh the slang that gen z uses and they're talking about like giving and uh Either way, all the slang that Gen Z used, and they were like, how do you get your child to stop saying it? And they were like, well, the easiest way is to start using it back at them. Yep. And then there was a bunch of just comments from freaking Jonas's, I'm sorry, from freaking dads talking about the fact that, yep, I can confirm, started using the slang in front of my children, and they no longer use it around me anymore. I'm just like, oh, I'm glad you're proud of yourself for, for ruining fun. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I see it. <laughs> 
You old fricks are ruining fun. Congratulations. When I use it, it sounds cool, I think. I don't know. Probably not. It's pretty not. cool when you say it. I try to because I say it and I don't smile at the camera and like expect a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I just do it and then Metro I keep... Metro booming? I keep the... <laughs> exactly. I keep the sentence moving. <laughs> I'm not looking for like approval. <laughs> I never do that. You like see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> on the next one. Yeah. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. Oh, uh, we out.